delighted to be joined here by Longford Town's new manager, Gary Cronin. Gary, uh, first of all, welcome back to the club. You've been away mm. for only about, I think, about three and a half years now, I think. Yeah, three and a half. It was a four years. Um, yeah. Um, I know it was all very quick. You, you announced your departure from Bray, and, and I think it was three days later, you, you're announced yeah. as Longford Town manager. Um, it must have been a whirlwind few days, but was was there ever any doubt when you got the call that you were going to say no? Uh, no, um, uh, you know, from the outside looking in, it was three days later, but it was probably within the hour that the process had started. And um, once I got the phone call, to be honest with you, I knew I was going to be an uncle town manager then. I had that feeling, you know, um, obviously they could have, there was other people in the picture for it, um, James. But look, I was never going to say no to the job. But I, I, I was a long time in the football club. Um, I... I, I but the foundation of my coaching career started at Long, Longford Town. Tony Cousins at the time uh, was great for me. He gave me the, the opportunity to coach at, a, at the club, which was uh, always grateful there. And, and the club and the chairman, uh, Jim, uh, helped me along the way in that process right through to the pro license. So, to be honest, when I got that call, it was, it was only from my end, it was always going to be a, a, a yes. And uh, I'm looking just delighted to be back and uh, given the opportunity to manage the football club. Just looking back at that time, obviously, you know, you went from a player to, to a coaching role at the club and, and you won a first division title with the club with, with Tony. Tony was obviously mm. a massive influence on, on how you moved forward as a coach. Yeah, like, like, like I said, he, you know, I've only been talking to Tony in the last few days, but he, he gave me that opportunity. He saw me as a player. <clears throat> didn't really return. I was at a stage of my career. Didn't really return um, what I should have as a player for, uh, to Tony in that first year. And, um, but I was also doing a little bit of coaching along with his assistant at the time and um, that sort of developed I was quite good at it and Tony sort of spotted that and uh, the following year again I was signed as a player coach but it was more on the coaching side he wanted me but I actually had a really good year as a player that year mm. and that's how it developed um, and we just moved on from that I obviously became his first team coach uh, and, and over time became his assistant manager so uh, yeah like I said I've, I've always been grateful to Tony for, for the opportunity in the coaching and, and obviously to the football club but yeah it helped me develop and it was a real you know I worked up the coaching ladder and, and uh, mainly through, through, through Longford Town There won't be as I think as tough a transition as you might have had at a new club coming back to Longford obviously you know how we work and, and the people around the club and, and the supporters and everything else so it's obviously mm. a bit of a help in that sense, whereas you can go straight back into work and, and get get started. Yeah, look, I mean, the huge advantage for me is that I know the people, and it's not like I only know them for, I was down there for six months and you know them say hello to um, the majority of the people that were there 10 years ago when I was, when I was at the club are still there, which is, which is fantastic for me. Uh, I don't have to form those relationships. There's a trust there between myself and the club and the people that are there. Um, I'd imagine I know the people who are running the club and run uh, there a long time, and a lot of the supporters they'd be delighted to see me back, and I'm delighted to be back. So that's a foundation that probably takes time for a, a new face or a new manager who has never been at the football club to, uh, you know, to sort of build and develop over over time, and uh, and the trust has to build. So I think that's a, an advantage to ourselves, to me, uh, definitely an advantage, and to the club, it's an advantage that that's there and it's solid, um, and obviously. Look, I have to focus now on, on on the football and the players and 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 so on and, and trying to bring a, a good product to the football pitch, you know. So that's obviously my job now. But yeah, it's a huge advantage knowing the people uh, that are involved in the football club, and I know that they're there for the right reasons, you know. And basically, they love Longford Town Football Club, and a lot of them that run the club are actually supporters as well uh, of the football club. So, um, yeah, um, I I know how to roll in with that. Um, my staff will know how how to roll in with that. So. Look, I'm really looking forward to that part of it, but it's a huge advantage. It really is that I, you know, I don't have to um, sort of really get to know people, sound them out. And, you know, the majority of people that are there um, have been there a long time, which is which is great, and they know who I am. So uh, it's, a, it's a solid foundation to start from, James. Just looking ahead to to the next season, um, it's going to be a tough first division once again. It it always is, but you have the likes of obviously Galway are still there full time. You have Waterford down now who who are saying they're staying full time. Um, you know, Treaty United are, are looking like a good side and then obviously your former club Bray who are now merged with, with Cabin Tidy could look like a strong outfit as well but 
Longford are always up there and obviously you as manager will be looking to, to kick on and then keep us up in and around the top of the table. Cheers to the pressure, James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, that's a joke. Uh, 100%, you, you want to compete. Uh, you just said it started. The first division is never easy. It's always, always tough. Um, you know, there's teams that would be seen at the start of the year. I remember the year that Lone won it, they pipped us um, uh, that year. They wouldn't have been seen at the start of the season of getting anywhere near the league title. Um, just goes to show. Um, and, you know, there's always a surprise package that end up, ends up in the playoff spots. Uh, that always happens. You look at Treaty last year, you know, nobody was expecting them to be there. To be honest with you, behind the scenes, I, 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 I thought he would. Um, but it, there's always a surprise package. I know there's teams, in particularly in the fourth division, every team at the start of the year fully expects to hit the playoff positions at the least. And the majority will have an ambition to win it because they'll see um, if we can get a good start in this division, that we'll have an opportunity to stay up there. Like, you know, um, but you're, you're bang on. You have te teams now that are so desperate to get back into the Premier and clubs that are so desperate to get back into the Premier. And I understand to be so. I get that. But we'll be no different. You know, Cork City are a massive, massive um, football city. Um, you know, personally, you know, it's a club that should should be operating in the Premier League. So they're going to go all all out to to retain that status. And uh, Galway, Galway had a massive following there. Obviously, we had them in the playoffs down there. There was about five thousand at the game, and we beat them down there. Um, but but you just knew from the boy around the place they're they're chasing that goal of Premier football as well. And uh, yeah, more if we come back down and, and we'll see what they'll bring. But, you know, obviously they've made it clear that they want to be full-time, they want to stay full-time and they want to make an immediate return. And that's only three teams. Um, but we'll be no different. We'll be competing to be at the top. Uh, and and that, that's the attitude that my players will have. Terry, thanks for that. I'm sure we'll be talking to you again soon. <laughs>